I hit the wrong button. Oh my god, I hit the wrong button twice. Ta-da! Oh god. Oh god, my OBS is also broken. No, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Professional, guys. I promise. <laughs> oh, it's been a hot minute, guys. I... My brain is absolutely busted right now. Give me a minute here. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. That I totally didn't interrupt by breaking everything, right? So what I did is I went to hit microphone and I hit cast instead, which is right next to it. And I really should move those because that was a mistake. Angry Dwarf, how you doing? Ask, how you doing? Oh, where's my lighter? Uh, where did I put it? Uh, I had a lighter. Um, once I find my lighter, I'll show you. Where the fuck did it go? <laughs> no, no, seriously. Say what? Oh, there it is. Found it, guys. My lighter kind of looks like camouflage. So, um, yeah. Get <laughs> I also finally got the butt attachment for my proxy. So now it's just a really expensive pipe. But damn, is it nice. There's your button. Cheers. Off to a great start, guys. <laughs> no, it's medicine, guys. It is in the great state of... Oh, fuck, I forgot to vote today. Ah, oh, it's going to pass anyway. I'm very sure. Today is the day the state of Oklahoma voted if we were going to legalize recreational marijuana. Currently, it's med medicinal. But... I was supposed to vote in that, and I totally forgot. Damn. I forgot to get another water bottle, too. Guys, Mike, <laughs> I'm struggling today. I hope you're all doing better than me. <laughs> all the other stoners. <laughs> That's... If that's why the bill fails, I... Well, it's not a bill. It's a state question. Technically. Okay. A lot of legal things. But I swear, if it fails because we all got high in regard, <laughs> That would be hilarious. Oh. All right, guys. We're going to take one more hit. And then we'll get into the first series. Elevation. It's not quite your series. Yours is second. But, man, I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys. Because Dada is going to yell at me if I don't start soon. All right. Now I can hit the right buttons, guys. You ready? Ta-da. Spawning here in the bottom left hand side with the SCVs. Give it up for Frost. And his opponent in the top left with the Magenta SCVs. Oh, look at him. Hmm. <laughs> it's Alien. That's what I'm sticking with. Dude. I only, and I do mean only just recently learned that blowing smoke in someone's face means that you're, like, flirting with them. Like, me and the boys have done that for years where you just, like, we all sit around the table to smoke and just, like, blow at each other. Just, like, fuck. Just to really mess with each other. And then, like, recently someone's like, oh, yeah, you like, if you're flirting with someone, you do that. I'm like, what? No. <laughs> no. I don't like that at all. No, I don't like this at all. <laughs>
All right, guys. So the depots are like that's a solid four pixels away, at least, if not maybe five. Mm. <laughs> So there you go, guys. There's your difference in TVT. Professional caster. All right. Going straight into that barracks. Alien's just going to be a little bit late with his. <laughs> TVT, man. It's a good matchup. It is, in fact, one of the matchups in case anyone was curious it is one of the matchups of all time <laughs> look you think i care about the geneva suggestion hey, come on that's on you bro they put a lot of things in there that i eh, you know if it's convenient i'll figure it out All right, they're probably going to last scout each other here, and that's going to be hilarious. All right, factory. Factory before second depot. That depot is super late. He's going to be supply blocked here for 30 seconds. However long it takes the depot to build. But I mean, his factory's not like too much more ahead. It's a bit ahead, but SCVs high fives they go by. All right, two facts coming up here from Alien. Meanwhile, nice expand on the low ground here for our our boys in white. Wait, no, mm, that's not a good one, guys. That wasn't it. Mm -mm. Should, should not have said that. <laughs> Escalade. Thank you for the obvious. I was worried that nobody would have caught it. Alright, Marines going to town. But we see the command center building. That's everything you need to know. Because over here sees the command center super late and a vulture. Vultures, not like a huge tell, but he would have seen maybe the machine shop being built. Facts two and three coming up here. Meanwhile, double tank production. Oh, that's going to hurt. <laughs> oh, that, that's going to hurt a lot. All right. So this goes one of two ways. One, double tank production here just slams Frost and he loses. B, he somehow holds the tanks and is just massively ahead. I mean, we did have the Confederacy. Bunch of hillbilly rednecks in the Confederacy. So yeah, I mean, they are basically just cowboys. Well, these are more bikers, but yeah. Bikers are just city cowboys. Change my mind. Oh, the barracks comes in flying in close to the wall here. He's going to miss this whole move out. Four tanks, vulture, marine, and two SCVs. Mm, that's going to leave a mark. Against six vultures with no mines. Speed finishes at least. And now he just starts mines. Oh, this is going to hurt. All 
Oh, Vultures 2 and 3 join. Oh, no. And the Marines are still fighting the barracks. No! <laughs> All right, and yeah, that's game, guys. You're not going to stop four tanks with a couple of vultures on the way. Yeah. Yeah, four Marines. Well, that was a fun little game one. Terran Hopium going on here. <laughs> Got him. Alright. Come on, my dude. Yeah, GG. And like that, Alien's going to go ahead and take game one here with some tanks. Sag, that was a seven minute TVT. What more do you people want from me? <laughs> I don't want TBT. Well, here's a short TBT. Oh, it was sad. It's like, come on, my guys. <laughs> you order the pizza, you get to the pizza, you know? Guys, the fact that you listen to anything I say still astounds me. <laughs> the real one hour TBT. Let's go. Yo, Clever Combat, thank you for the follow. It's appreciated. And also, Elevation, I didn't say before, thank you for following me after taking my money for months. <laughs> Dude, I would love some BCs. Just sit back and just take a nap, wake up 40 minutes later. <laughs> this next game is for you. <laughs> oh. oh, that's going to be good. Wait, Terran Potato, which one are you? Yeah, you're alien, okay. Spotting here in the top, left hand side. Would the white SCVs give it up for Frost? I really love when people like Frost, he picks the white name. I love it. Oh, that's, for, oh my God, you really do. You do make a new account every time. Bruh. All right, I'm not ready to deal with that revelation. In the bottom right, with the yellow SCVs, kind of a meh color. Kind of disappointed. It's alien. <laughs> Dude, made a Twitch just for CPL. That's dedication. <laughs> Terran Potato is better branding. I think it, well, no, alien is better branding. Terran Potato is funnier. That's what we're going to go with. All right, let's get some tank lines. All right, the Twitch app doesn't deserve to exist. Like, the Twitch app is bad. It is bad for so many reasons. Oh no, guys, the Taliban just followed me. Whatever will I do? <laughs> um, I'm in the heartland of America. I should be fine. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, God, we are off to a great start, guys. <laughs> this cast is incoherent already, and we're still in the first series. Of eight, nine, eight or nine uh, series we have tonight. All right, cross spawns again, so they're gonna they're gonna go looking for love in all the wrong places. All right. Second Depot, much closer to on time this time for Frost. There's the factory. All right. 
these timings are, you know, a couple seconds off of each other. But when you're cross spawned, you know, a couple seconds really doesn't matter nearly as much when you're cross spawned. Although it is aesthetically pleasing to watch the SCVs mirror each other. Alright, no fast CC from either. Oh, Alien gets his scout in. Hello. That's beautiful. You weren't supposed to get in here. <laughs> this he's like, I don't know. I didn't think I'd get this far. Just kind of stands there and starts poking at things. Alright, vultures. One vulture in a machine shop. All right. All right. All right. I can dig it. CC timing's pretty similar. I mean, this, this add-on timing is much better than Frost. All right. Two Marines, a Vulture, and the Barracks. Every unit you need. These are all the units I need right here. All right. Oh. <laughs> Just coming by to say hi, guys. Don't you worry. All right, killing the Marines is great because they are the high DPS. Oh, we missed a shot. Oh, my God. We keep missing shots. No. <laughs> oh, the trades. Man with gun. Better than man with rock. Can't juke this. <laughs> the lag. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was the lag, guys. Don't you worry. Alright, we're building Goliaths here. That's neat. Goliaths are great. You know why? Vultures and tanks, they only shoot in one direction. Down. You know what they can't hit? This barracks. Do you know what can hit that barracks? This absolute fucking machine right here called the Goliath. The Goliath is probably the greatest unit ever made by a game designer. It shoots up and it shoots down. Look at it, guys. Absolutely mystical. It counters literally everything. The only thing it can't counter is another Goliath. Just because if two Goliaths met on the battlefield, it like the universe would probably destroy itself. So that's about the only thing they can't counter. But other than that, man, Goliaths are good. You ready? One Goliath's gonna hold all of this off. Gets the mine even. These guys killed the barracks. Literal units, guys. Absolute units. God, I miss improv days. So, I was a I was a chorus and drama kid, right? In high school. And we'd have to do these improv games where you just have to, like, on the spot, just start going with something. I miss those. Riffing on stream is about the best I get these days. Goliaths never skip leg day. No, they don't because they walk everywhere. Are you getting a glass like, oh man, I got like five minutes. Let me go walk across the map and back, right? Goliaths are absolute units. They never skip leg day. They're never, they're always just on the move. Look at this beautiful, just, it, eh? it, eh? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh my God. <laughs> 
I was really concerned that you might just accidentally walk into one at this point. Alright. Vultures are in the middle. Oh. <laughs> oh, there it is. Get him, boys. Go, Goliath. Dude, hold micro is so much easier than patrol micro. <sighs> oh, oh no, Goliath. Goliath. Believe it or not, the other thing, the only true counter to a Goliath is killing it before it can see you. Because as soon as it sees you, you're done. So lurkers and siege tanks and invisible men. Because it, it can only kill you if it can see you. Alright, that's one bold CC there. Frost. Gonna just keep powering up on two bases here. More factories. Starport coming up. Nice. Means we'll probably see some Wraith action from the Goliath guy. Alright, we got mines. Over. We got an SCV, guys. Alright, guys. Now it's serious. We're going to proxy a factory right here. So that way our vultures get out here so quickly. Alien about to redefine TVT. There is here a mine right next to the CC. That mine was so close to doing its job from blocking the CC being built. Not quite there, though. Meanwhile, we got a nice little contained here. Oh. Drop ships with a science facility. I mean, obviously, you need the science facility for your upgrades. But maybe we should use some vessels, so use some D matrix. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just spouting off things that would be cool to see. One day the TVT players will listen to me and do cool say what the no oh no yeah it's free real estate guys oh both of it donate Ooh, sure. proxy eBay because why not right why not why not put my eBay here and float it over to about here. So we can keep an eye on what's going on. Oh, this is a lot of stuff to move out with. The biggest issue with this is that there's there's too much for aliens tanks to shoot at here. So we will get it, but well, we could have def we could definitely run up and lay some mines. Eh, we're not going to though. <laughs> uh oh, guys, they're both building Goliaths. What do we do? Science hasn't prepared me for this. Artosis has saved me. <laughs> it's a target rich environment. Yeah. All right. Taking the bottom left main. I respect it. As a Zerg. I respect it. That's a lot of queued up dropships. All right, guys. I'm going to have to say the thing. Yeah, I need to say the thing, guys. Queuing up units does not count as macro, guys. Q 
queuing up unit does not count as macro. <laughs> I'm tired of pretending that it does count. Damn, Terran have controlled the narrative for too long. What? Why? Why are they both just sitting here? I didn't think about it until you said... Ew. Bit of a... Bit of a supply block there. They're not even loaded. We built like six dropships and haven't loaded a single one with units. No, not one down here. I swear, these are Chekhov's fucking drop ships right now, all right? They better be used in the second act, or I'm going to be upset -y. So obviously, they were built... I would say first act was the contain here. We are in the second act, so actually should be used in the... Oh! Well, they were built in the first act, so yeah, they should be used now in the second act. Whatever fight happens to break out here obviously ends the second act and that begins the third act where someone is inevitably pushing towards victory. Oh, we're going to throw rocks at a tank. Oh, yeah, we're throwing rocks at tanks. Man... If only they had figured that idea out in a certain square in a certain country in the certain 80s. Yo, thank you for the free... Thank you for the free numbers, bot. Bot forgetting that they count as chatters and viewers in order to do that. So I don't need to pay them. They do it for free, guys. Wow, this is awkward. Quad star ports. Let's go. That can only mean one thing. You land right now. And you drop that physics lab. Oh, that port tank got deleted. Oh, God. How many are there? What? We have seven dropships with two more queued in the middle of a supply block. 10 out of 10. And the thing is, guys, if this was StarCraft 2, I'd say he just F2'd them. But no, he went and found them. Finally. Chekhov's dropship inbound, baby. Oh, we're bringing the SCV. Oh, no, the tank who's left home. Ba ba da ba 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 da 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 The doomest of drops. Oh, with all of our units shooting at different things. I have a I have a sinking feeling about this drop. Yeah, that was um that was expensive. And we killed something, I'm sure.
Maybe some SCVs we killed. Mm. Didn't kill the depots. I'm sure it did something, guys. It also doesn't matter because Alien is just miles ahead. Four going up to five bases. A bank large enough to bail out a small country, despite the fact that he's not maxed. And of course, drop ships. Oh, he used Siege a second, always regrets it. Doesn't rhyme, and it's not meant to. This mine's still here, by the way. This mine's going to be in a really dangerous spot. Oh, look at the Goliaths. They're doing their work. Deleting drop ships. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yo, where's Escalade when we need him? All right, one, two. Oh, he scans them out. No, you're not supposed to know this is coming. All right, we definitely have money for three and four. Or at least three. Oh, no, three and four. Take it another base. This this random tank is just like, hi guys, how you doing? Got him. Boys ain't working no more, boss. What are we gonna do about it? Boss, the boys said they don't want to work no more. All right, the. Uh, the more classical way of mind sweeping, which is run into it and hope for the best. Alright, this one might do some more. <laughs> GG! I feel slightly robbed. I, I feel very robbed, actually, at this point. Oh, come on, Frost. Why'd you have to do it to me? Five more minutes. It's all we needed. Ah, oh, we were so close. Time out. Bye, bot. GG's, though. GG, well played. Well, no, because they hadn't come into play yet. That's the big thing. Uh, you put your effort in. All right, guys. I need a water real quick. So I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to be gone like 30 seconds. All right, all right. Yo, sup, Cookie? How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. He's from Canadian, so we gotta put in Canadian accent, he. 
Hey, you gotta, um, you gotta go do the work, ye. <laughs> That's all I got, guys. There's, there's my Tana my terrible Canadian accent, ye. Sorry. Sorry. Yo! There's the CPL Raiders. How you doing? Let's go, eh? You know what? No better time than the present to start our next series, which is the most hype series. Let's go! In five seconds, guys. I had to hit okay. <laughs> Let's go! No breaks on this train. Welcome to game one of what I think will be the greatest series all night. In the top right hand side. With the magenta probes. Give it up for Tech. And his opponent in the bottom right. Give it up for Elevation. Alright guys. These two. These two got history. Let me tell you something. Alright. I have watched these two play for over a year at this point. Maybe about a year. And give or take. And every time they play, it is wild. It is unpredictable. And we're going for a six pool. All right, guys. Why do I even bother talking? The players are going to do it for me. All right. We're six pooling on a four player map. That man, he's got them balls of steel. Let me tell you something. All right. T poor tech here. Pylon scouting the wrong way. This is incredibly unfortunate. He's going to come down here. He's going to drop a forge. He's going to think about expanding. Oh, Mr. Probe, you want to not be stupid? <laughs> yep, there's the forge. Second scout. All right, we're sending out like 18% of our economy here to go find our opponent. Oh, baby. Second probe is going to get in here. He's going to get in here basically as these links are getting ready to pop. Yep. He should see this now. Go. Oh, no. Drops the cannon. Yo, Lord, found you. This is where we're going to need to pull, like, four or five boys. <laughs> Let's go attack. You're not going to try faking a base on six drones. My brother. My brother in Christ. Oh, no, we didn't pull any boys. Guys, why didn't we pull any boys? Oh, this is... Yeah, um... This is a problem. Yeah, not like this indeed. Oh, we're sending the boys to die one at a time. This is execution. This isn't even base defense. This is execution. G is called. In G it was. It was, in fact, a G. And let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, no one, no one plays StarCraft like these guys. Truly one of the games of all time. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Storm of the Cow. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, chat's fucking cracked tonight. All right. One more for the party hype, and then we'll get into game two. <laughs> if only there was something called, like, a wall that would have stopped this. Wait, no, no. We're not supposed to talk about that one, are we? Oh, man, if only there was another wall-like object that would work. Hey, Siri. Also, hey, everybody. <laughs> Let's see. NCX is talking. Max is talking. Kekus. Neblime. Elevation's back. 
Siri. Why can't we talk about make-believe things? <laughs> oh, God. It's a party. All right, guys. What follows up the six pool? I don't know. <laughs> There's one way to find out, though. We watched some incredible StarCrafting. As as the professional six pool into Guardians, yes. <laughs> that would make some excellent YouTube content. Mmm, there's an idea. Gonna make some YouTube out of that. But spawning here in the top left hand side. We have elevation. And on the bottom left, we've got tech. Um, so this cast is going to be about five hours if the numbers are right. If my numbers are correct, and by that I mean if I can do basic addition and it thought I got all the right numbers, this group's going to be like four and change. So once you include, um, breaks in between time, you know, the general chit chat that happens when you're streaming. <laughs> yeah. Yo, House, how you doing? No, ideally, I'm in bed by midnight. Eh. Eh. Oh, man, we're having a great night already. I forgot to update the scoreboard. All right, guys, you're going to have to live with not knowing the score unless you memorized it. I'm going to get fired for this. I'm going to get a DM tomorrow, and Dada's going to be like, bro, you forgot to update my scoreboard in the between games. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's going to be like, get out of here. <laughs> well, if you missed the 2 minute and 18 second game that was game one, I understand. I hadn't even finished bantering with myself yet, and that game was over. All right. <laughs> Ooh, nice moving shot that we caught there at the end. Cancels the pylon right as it finishes. Beautiful. Pool goes up. Doesn't build any Zerglings. Big brain here. That allows Tech to go Nexus before Cannon. Look at these guys. They're video gaming. Vidgy gaming. Build the wall. Wait, no. Hmm. <laughs> Does it, it? So this is a full wall, and then this is like a double gap, isn't it? Now, because of the egg, or it's like one and a half. It, it's weirdly sized now, isn't it? Please say yes. That way, I can pretend that I know things. Please, I like to pretend to know things. All right. Yes, I knew a thing, guys. Ling's going around the map, checking for what's up. 1 plus 1532. Huh. All right. That is, in fact, very exact, and I appreciate that. Yeah, Scout and Pro makes sense. But another one hasn't been sent out yet, so... All your searching is in vain! Wait, this is a gap? Oh yeah, I guess it is. So we went straight for it. I thought... I thought this was the right way to wall with these buildings. Is that like, um... Forge and then gateway on the right. Oh! Oh, that is a gap. Okay. So, gateway here, forge here. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. The butter wall. Mmm. Butter. Dude, 
I don't understand walls. I just kind of A move my Zerglings and hope for the best. Oh, we A move these Zealots and we got the worst. Oh, oh, wait. Zeltra made a butter. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Zergling. Look at that Zergling micro, guys. Elevation here. A casual Zergling enjoyer. Like, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Get all the boys there. Huh. This man's, like, stepping over the edge of the gateway. He's like, mm, gotta step over that. Go on a trip. Citadel and Stargate coming on up. I mean, two edge muta is a very mate, mate, mate. Take the natural. Don't take the main. Take the natural first. It's easier to defend, and it gives you a free base. I may have been yelled about, th yelled at about that from my coach. He's like, dude, take the natural first. Yeah, two edge muta is gonna do something. Yeah. And at this point, uh, our boy Tech here is like, what the hell? <laughs> of course, there's like, I'm here. Oh, my Lord. The carnage. Oh, God. That's like eight kills here. Damn. Two Zelds going across the map. There's um quite literally nothing to stop them. Everything's gotta return home. That gives tech here a moment to breathe. Alright, we have completely cleaned up the natural. Beautiful. Absolutely good work by those two zealots. They did a lot more than the first two. This zealot is going to do a whole lot less than the other ones. Sunken coming on up here. Oh shit, is it thunderstorming out? Sounds like it's thunderstorming. Alright, we got two stairs. Two stairs in a dream. Oh, and some fancy Muta Micro. That's what we got here. All right, guys. I'm going to say something crazy. You want to keep the probes around. Oh. Well, I mean, we're losing the fight anyway. But with the probes around, the Muta bounces will be more likely to hit probes than other stairs. And yeah, it's GG. Rip. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, the mutas want to spread. The um, Protoss here, if you have, like, you know, the probes here, then you have a couple stairs, and there's the glaze just. I did a hand motion, and you guys can't see it, so. <laughs> Is this queen? I mean, these muta shots have been on point. GG, elevation, tech. With the. Ah, I was really hoping you were going to stay in and kill everything. That would have been hilarious. GG's. Absolutely zerged. <laughs> you got a quarter of the G's. Here is your allotment of G's for the day. All right, we had a uh, draw match. I assume it didn't happen. Oh, are you? All right, Dada. GG's. Huh. So. All right, guys. I'm going to let you in on a bit of a secret here. This is how I update the scoreboard. All right. 
<laughs> can we buy a shoe too every time you win? All right, so this is our scoreboard, right? This is how I update. I just kind of click on these. And you put uh, Z-Man and K-Step as a draw, right? Because it was a draw. Problem. Z-Man versus K-Step is the replays I have. <laughs> so about that. <laughs> Don't have a scoreboard. Um, so, give me one minute here. I do have to stay on this screen for like 20 seconds here. Ah, uh, oh, then I can just turn this on. Move this up here. Move this back to me. Move this over here. Guys, we are professionals. I know what I'm doing. And yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and cast this without the scoreboard, unfortunately. That doesn't matter. We've still got StarCraft. And honestly, that's what we're here for, right? I... I actually wonder... If... So, remember that YouTube album? Remember that uh, YouTube album they put on every iPhone? I wonder if the, uh, I wonder what the copyright is on that album. Since you know they gave it away to everybody for free, I wonder. Since I had an iPhone and I did get the album, and I still hate that album to this day, I wonder if I can use it without royalties because it was given to me. Hmm. Hmm. And then we can blast you two every time Elevation wins. And we can all hate ourselves. Because it's fucking you two. <laughs> yeah, we weren't given royalties. But we were given to it freely. Oh, Cookie has to come in here and defend you two. <laughs> oh, Cookie. Hmm. Damn. Damn you, you two. <laughs> Look, consent. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you know. For legal reasons, that's a joke. All right, and on that note, let's get in a game. Spawning here in the top right-hand side. Give it up for our red Protoss, K-Step. And his opponent in the top left with the drones. Really, the army green drones. It's the Z-Man. It's the Z-Boy. All right, guys. PVZ again. Will we get a series longer than ten or a game longer than ten minutes here? The world may never know. Oh, I need to turn that command off. Whoops, forgot about that. Was that really the first time it's gone off? Huh. Neat. That's a real early drone scout. Yeah, a nine scout? Hmm. Going across the map, it, looking for maybe proxy gateways that might be there. Hmm. That's weird. That's like an unnecessary loss of income. With a build like this, you might as well just um, do your 11 scout. Could you do a uh, 12 hatch, 11 scout? Oh, 
All right, so it's an eleven ten. Oh, thank God. Hello, I would like to let you know that I am being greedy by saying, oh, thank God. Spit at him. Spit at him again. All right, K-Step, you need to spend this money, brother. My brother, you need to spend your money. Just drop a cannon. Drop a gateway. And drop a hot rhyme. I don't care. Just drop something. Spend your money. Alright, because here come some lings. Now this is one big old gap. All right, Overlord's coming in hot. All right, Lings are going to chase the probe around. It's very nice of them. Yeah, only two on gas. Strikes me as a mistake. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, no. Hey, Saito. How you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic evening. <laughs> K-steps. K-pop and dubstep. Dude, all right. You know what? That would... I might actually be down to listen to that. You know? I'll listen to anything once. And honestly... I'm kind of curious what that sound like. All right. Two hatch Hydra still droning. Getting ling speed. Um And we've essentially stopped mining gas. More cannons go down. Probe stays in the wall. <laughs> All right, he got a buddy. <laughs> what you do, Suri, is you instantly drop three more necks eye across the map. All right. There is a third hatch. All right. Have we reached the holy number? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine, nine. It's not a nine, seven, three. Oh, here come the hydras. They're going across the map. They've got a mission. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Three hatch hydra into fast muta. That's a build. Now oh, that sounds like a hilarious build, Siri. I need to boy someone with that. All right, so we got the layer. Why did we get the layer? <laughs> We're not getting lurkers. We're not getting speed. We're not getting range. What? We're getting speed, guys. Oh, no. Oh, I just got you baited. He's like, huh? Oh, nope. Gonna mess with the caster. Hit a different upgrade. Fuck. 
fast lurkers at seven minutes. Oh, well, Mr. Stepman. What are you doing, Step Protoss? But the thing is, is that with a normal build, right, your layer finish, like, as your layer's finishing, like, 60%, you drop your Hydra Den, and then your Lurker, you can start Lurker Aspect as soon as the layer finishes, because they'll time out evenly. And then your Lurkers are, like, already building in here at this point in the game. If you're doing, like, a quick Lurker build. It's, like, the only build I know. <laughs> it truly is, like, the only build I know. What? All right, everyone get around the safety spore. Everyone get around the safety spore. Oh, these are speedy boy zealots. They brought their running shoes. He brought his dancing shoes, apparently. He brought his good boots. That black eye is coming on up. There's the lurkers. N no NCX. This is a Hydra. All right. Uh, this. This is a larva. Right here. You see him? You see him? Right, 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 there he is. Look at him. He's a That's a larva. This is a Hydra. This is a Zealot. It's not even a Zerg unit. Oh, look at the carnage. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really into feet play. It doesn't really do it for me. So, I mean, I'm not going to really play with my feet, especially not on stream. Although, I don't think that's against Twitch's terms of service. So, I probably could get away with it. Uh, not so much in this position. Oh, oh Mr. High Templar, man. Well, in this position, I mean, you could. You could run up here. But you're going to take quite a few hits if you... And then you got to hope that your unit's path, like... You got to, like, really micro them along the top for best effects. If you just, like, click from here to here, they're going to go... Brrr, brrr. Oh, yeah, the ones that were on the map, yeah, just run them by. Yeah, you totally could have run those by. Just, see ya. <laughs> Dancing High Templar Man. Storm! It's storm man! Oh, this is an aggressive burrow. Guys, guys, we broke the 10 minute mark. Look at that. It can happen. <laughs> Dude, Soul Hydra's trying to run at cannons. Let's go. Oh, that was. That was, in fact, an engagement, guys. That was, in fact, a fight that we just saw. Hydra Speed now coming up. A little late, but better late than never, you know? Uh, yeah, you need, a, you need enough Hydras to be shooting at the... Uh, the Right-click down the Observer. Just... Eh, <laughs> Right-click, go burr. I mean, yeah, I guess if you just stand there and fight the zealots with your hydras, they're going to take more lurker hits. It's not inaccurate. Oh, one hydra got you baited forward. You hate to see it. Oh, please be careful. We were, in fact, not being careful. Oh, hello, hydralist? Bro? Ah! <laughs> ah! Alright. This guy needs to die. Alright, drop a storm right here. Kill this Hydra. He's a traitor anyway. Oh, now he gets to work. He's like, oh god, I don't want that to happen to me. All 
All right, well, we've given up on the protection spore. Corsairs have also given up on working. They are now playing poker. Oh, no, their poker game got interrupted. I'm sorry, guys. I shouldn't have looked at you. That's my fault, guys. Damn, Jimmy actually died. I didn't think Jimmy would die to the cannons. It was a prank, bro. Oh, my God, my buddy's dead. <laughs> ah, yeah, some classic shell shock. That Hydra's seen things. All the observers are like right here. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. He doesn't see the last one. Rip. All right, the Corsairs have moved to a new poker table. Like, oh, just an observer. At the last poker table, you know, no one was really hitting, so like, all right, let's go to a new one. All right. So, you wait until all your observers die to try. Oh, the Protoss special. Yeah, it's an Ops. I could have swore I just showed. Is there like real stream? There must be some real delay on my internet today. So, yeah, as I was saying. The moment all your observers are dead is not the moment to move out of your base. Yeah, and this is why. Because he moved out, stood in the lurkers for far too long, ate a lot of shots on his army. And, yep. Now we have no observer again. He's queuing up observers as fast as he can. Like, I need more observers. Oh, that observer's dead. Yeah. This is not looking good for K-Step. K-Skiz here. This is visible, alright? He, he can see this. He knows it's here. Yeah. Poor K style here. He's getting wrecked by the Z bro. Oh my lord, that's a storm. My Templar comes around from the back and gives him the hug from behind. The surprise hug of love and affection. Oh. Oh, the probes. GG. GG. All right. GG's. All right. Look, that was a game that went almost 16 minutes, guys. Elevation, why couldn't you do that? Yo, Benny! How you doing? Oh, Benny. Check your messages. That's a tracking number. I don't remember if I said that's a tracking number. Uh, huh? Uh, no, doesn't matter. Why is my phone not on Do Not Disturb? Huh. Better question. There we are. Yeah, Benny, check your DMs. I sent you a tracking number. Perfect. I don't know. <laughs> to be to be totally honest, I have not had a chance to get to the post office. And I had a buddy who was down visiting for the last week. And so I gave it to him to post. <laughs> I, I wrote down the label and I was like, here, can you just like send this? <laughs> and he's like, all right. <laughs> And so I don't know if he shipped it before he left or when he got home. So 
It'll say either Oklahoma or New York, <laughs> depending if you shift it from here or there. Uh, it's, I'm sure it's not much. It's not exactly the bulkiest thing, right? Not like my uh, my spirit card. Now that's that's pure bulk. That's pure beautiful bulk. All right, so he sent it when he got back. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is my normal dab rig, right? But you can get a thing that you replace your chamber, and it's a little bowl. And so now I have like a nice, nice pipe. Oh, three days. That's not bad. Go, go post office. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I got this attachment for free. So I'm hanging out with my boss, right? The guy, my boss for the company I do sound for. It's a company of three people. We're all pretty friendly with each other. And so I'm hanging out with him. He's like, oh, I got to hit at the dispensary. Because uh, he, him and his wife need us. Oh, like, yeah, I'll just ride with you, right? You know? I was like going to new shops and so I go and I'm looking at things and they're like, oh yeah, we've got the bull right. Like, well, yeah, we're friends, you know, like we were friends before I started working for him. So like we, like I've hung around, I've known him for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think I got the job? <laughs> but they have it. I'm like, oh sweet. I'm going to buy this while I'm here. And then they're like, oh. Also, any in-house item is half off because it's your first time. So I got the big Mama Jama ounce that's normally $80 for $40. And since the bowl attachment's $35, I still saved $5. <laughs> and I was fine with that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how I bought this the other day. I don't know. There's a fun story. <laughs> That's all you got, guys. <laughs> all right. On that incredible story, let's go ahead and get into game number two. And I'm sure I'll come up with another story soon enough. All right, spawning here in the top right-hand side with the green drones. Give it up for the Z-Boy, Z-Man. And in the bottom left with the red probes, he's one step back, but he is, in fact, K-Step. <laughs> Protoss, Protoss, Protoss. USA, USA. I actually don't know where these players are from. You know, these are the kind of things you'd expect me to know of my teammates. I don't. Alright. Cross spawns means we're going to have a nice slow game here, it seems. Well, we should. Once they realize it. Impractical jokers. Of course I have. I've also lived it. <laughs> Me and my buddies have done some crazy things to each other. Not quite impractical jokers, but you know, that's kind of the style we've aimed for for a long time. Man, what a great show. What a show that couldn't exist anymore, but truly was a great show. All right. 11 hatch going down. 10 scouting. I don't know if I have. That sounds hilarious, though. 
Wait a minute. No, this is the wrong wall again. No. Protoss players. Stop walling incorrectly. Siri, go harass everyone about how to wall. Get that little guide that someone's got somewhere. Like how to wall on every map. And just ping everyone. I'm so African. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as he doesn't make the most common unit to make in this matchup, he's fine. All right, but he puts the gateway over, which gives you the right size, right? Yeah, this is how you want it. Because now you got the gap here. I think. I don't know. Guys, knowing things is hard. Can I go back to not knowing things? I'm going to go back to being the tasteless caster. 50% of what I say, not even about the game. The other 50%, not always accurate about the game. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, look at this TVT, guys. Oh, wait. Mm -mm. <laughs> not right. All right, Zerg's going to settle down in the top left here. Building himself a home. Soling's hopping on down. Lair's almost done. If we were going to go straight for Lurkers, we would have dropped the... Uh, Lurker Den, eh, about here, range. Ooh, we are losing Lings every time we run by there because we don't have Ling speed. Dirt Hatch almost done. All right, what are we doing here, Z-Boy? Ling speed. I feel like, I feel like Z-Man here, one, doesn't quite understand how photon cannons work, which is fine. It happens to the best of us, right? But the second one, I feel like this guy just knows to drop his layer. He doesn't know when or for what yet, but he just knows, like, got to get that layer. It's like, the spire super late, you know, he didn't. He didn't look like he was ready to go Spire when the later finished, right? And it's fine. It is a very important mechanic to remember to build your layer. I don't remember to build my layer. And let me tell you, it's not great. But I think that it's more of he just kind of knows that he needs it instead of knowing why he needs it. And there you go. That's all I know. There's my knowledge. Oh, yes. I will enjoy watching that tonight for sure. Or I can watch it on stream and get the YouTube channel um, copyright striked. <laughs> right, Dada? Uh... Oh, I don't have my camera on. I just, I just made a little heart in my hand at the camera. Camera's not on. Sorry, Dada. I guess I, I guess I don't love you. Bud, what are you doing down here? Yeah, sleeping. Probes don't sleep though, right? Because they're not they're machines. So what are you doing, bud? Of course they're going through. Oh, run! <laughs> it's rebooting. 
Oh god, my pro blue screen, guys. No! <laughs> my blue screening probe. <laughs> so, fun fact. You ready? Sleep doesn't exist anymore since Windows 7. I want to say 8 got rid of it, but I don't remember for sure. However, in Windows 10, it has been rolled into your shutdown. So when you hit shut down, your computer doesn't shut down. It goes to sleep. Oh, bit of a mistake there. <laughs> this looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? Elevation, take notes. You see, what what you guys don't understand is the reason Elevation is not talking in chat right now about this strategy is because in the time since he was last in chat, he forgot his Twitch password. And needs to make a new account. Plus one did finish this time though. Oh, that's gonna get some good hits. Oh yeah, this is a bit of a this was a bit of a mistake. All right, Mr. Stepman, that was a. All right. For realsies this time. What were you thinking, Step Bro? <laughs> Alright, can Mutus kill a Nexus? This is not something you ever see. Come on, come on. Alright, they killed a Nexus. Neat. Can one sunken stop six Slappy Boys? All right, when's the last time you saw a Nexus? <laughs> oh, that's Jerry Bird's return. That's true. Wait, is Monkey T not an emote? I, I feel like I said this last time I streamed and someone did that. I was like, is that not an emote? I know, I thought I had it on my BTTV. Oh, and we get the spire. That's nice. There's an issue, though. It doesn't matter that we killed the spire. How do we kill these guys? Oh, this is some real StarCraft, guys. OGs will know. All you have to kill Mutas is <laughs> Dragoons and Scouts. This is some real StarCraft. Do you ever wonder why the Corsair was added to this game? Do you ever wonder why it is such a standard to go Corsair? Oh yeah, here's your other counter. Yeah, uh, about that. Yeah, GG. GG. This is why the Corsair was invented, guys. As a uh as a way of making this matchup playable. GG's. So that means this week goes 2 to 1 to the Fighting Irish for tier 2. Uh That's not bad. I mean, it's sad for me, obviously, as a um, as a proud member of the Pandora Patrol. Uh,
There we are. I do have monkey tea. What? Huh? Oh, I think I know what it is. All right, guys. I did a thing recently. And basically, I switched all my browser over to... um. So I had like a separate browser for work, like my stream stuff and then my personal stuff. I never installed BTTV <laughs> on the uh, stream one. So that was a thing. That's why I didn't see it on my... <laughs> Damn you, Twitch. Well, now I have two monkey tees. That's cool. Ta-da. We're streaming. We're streaming now. All right. You know, what I should have done is said I'll be right back because I was going to take a break between groups. Because next up is the tier three group. That was all for tier two. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up for tier three. And I'll see you all in a minute. 